Uh, so if you see here, uh, you have your uh, fact sales and you have your date table and you have three different relationships, right? So you, there is a relationship between your, I'll uh, so show you here, your date key in your dim date as well as your order date in your fact sales. What you also have is your uh, due date key. Uh, this The previous one was order date and versus your date. And then here you have your due date versus your date. And then here you have, I guess, you have your ship date and your date, right? So now let's say if you wanted to switch your relationships and see how much, uh, uh, in how much difference you have in terms of sales uh, based on different, uh, uh, you know, relationships. Let's take a look and to see how you can do that, right? So Power BI automatically tags these two relationships as inactive because this one is active. I can always, you know. I can uh, click on any uh, relationship and say make it as active but how do I do this programmatically right so for a given measure I wanted to use my ship date versus my due date for a different measure I wanted to use my order date right so how I can do that switch that programmatically let's take a look into that so this is a report that we created in our previous video uh, I'm gonna use the same thing here uh, I can show you right now so this is the measure that we have here sales by period so this is a measure measure that we built uh, in our previous video uh, while i was just showing you guys uh, the visualization here and basic tax so we're going to modify this measure right so currently this measure works on your due date i guess let's take a look actually in fact uh, yes oh, order date actually so it works on the order date basically right so order date in your fact sales versus your date key and uh, let's say if you wanted to change it uh, for your due date so I'm going to use the same measure. Uh, so this measure is basically, uh, it's uh, it's basically going to sum up the sales based on this filter condition. Uh, it's going to filter the dim date based on the period the user is, uh, has selected. So when the user filters here, 2020, 2013, um, uh, so the dim date is going to get filtered. So at this point, when the user selects 2010 and 2013, the dim date will only have these years. Right, and this condition is basically gonna choose the min of that uh, filter table, which is gonna be 2010, and it's also gonna take the max of that filter table, which is 2030. Right, so that's exactly what this does. So now I'm gonna do on top of this measure, I'm gonna create another measure and use the uh, use relationship function that is basically here, and this fun uh, this function that we have in Microsoft. So uh, I'm going to use that measure and uh, dynamically change those relationships, right? So on top of this measure, once this measure is done, whatever measure you create, create that. On top of that, you put another calculate statement like this. Calculate, right? And then uh, once this inner calculate is done, just uh, say use relationship, right? In this case, it's super straightforward. Just say, uh, what relationship what are the columns that you wanted to choose so in this case I wanted to choose uh, my you know my due date and my uh, uh, Due date in my fact sales and the date key in my item date, right? So I'm just I'm just gonna say due date key in my fact sales Right and then my date key In my dim date, right? So that's it. So now you see here. So this calculation is going to be changed based on the due uh, based on the due date right how can you say the difference i will show you right now so let us actually let us use the previous calculate that we had let's create another measure with the previous condition that we had so oops i'll just do it here let's just use another measure so this measure just i just copy pasted that it's going to be sales by you know the default one right order order date year right sounds good so yeah so i have that and i need another filter okay perfect so the formatting is worse but you can always use you know let's actually in fact let's go ahead and do it in the dax formatter format it nice and clean and then yeah thank you and then let's go ahead and use that
right so now uh, we created another measure that's the older that's a default relationship using measure right so i'm just going to drag and drop that here oops uh, that will be i'll just use you know what i'll just create a card right and then i'll just going to drag and drop that into that card right so now uh, this is blank because i need to say that hey uh, this one should basically work on this right so now uh, I, I don't need so this one this filter should not work on this right so i'll just say none right so now this shows the uh, sales based on the order date right and this shows the sales based on the due date right likewise you see here so this we just used basically this relationship without even being activating that right actually the activated relationship is basically between the order date and the date key uh, which also we have uh, but we have basically used this inactive relationship and made that active dynamically right using this condition right see using this condition we just made it as active likewise if i just wanted to use this on a ship date which is also what i have right which is the third condition that i have i can still do that right if i do that see there's going to be another number here so it's based on that sh that relationship right so i can constantly switch back and forth on my relationship just by using uh, uh, a dax measure right so that's it's that powerful actually so that is how you basically uh, switch your relationship using your DAX. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.